contents of the book. Um, so there are several parts of the book. Uh, there are three parts. Okay. So part one provides a general introduction and also the current crisis situation in Asia, in Africa, and the Americas. And then the second part focuses on the biology of rice diseases, which are caused by the different uh, pathogen, bacterial, fungal, viral diseases, nematodes, and so on. And the recent advances in research. So these chapters provide information on most aspects of about 80 rice diseases in a very condensed format. So, and then the third uh, part covers some selected disease management issues and practices. Okay, so um, this is just going through it, but uh, later on I will show you the, uh, we'll go to the uh, website to show you how easily it could be downloaded. So these are the um, part one, the introduction of the book. Uh, section one is about future of rice, uh, 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 future impact of rice diseases by Dr. Ziegler and, and Hay here. And then uh, the second part is about the shifty enemies of rice production in Asia, and then the Americas, and then also in Africa. That's the reason why this book becomes globally important because this includes uh, situations of rice diseases not only in Asia but also in other parts of the world where rice is grown. Okay, so the second part is about the biology of rice disease, and here this will be very quickly showing you the different diseases that we see here broke into uh, different, uh, like seedling, foliar, uh, leaf shield, and affecting the different uh, uh, parts of the rice plant. This is on bacterial diseases, this is on virus and phytoplasma diseases, okay, chapter by, uh, written by, prepared by Dr. Rubino. Okay. And then uh, these are the uh, section on the rice nematodes, or actually we call them roundworms, uh, authored by Dr. Tina Kin, uh, Dr. Gaysen, and Dr. Uh, Hong Lee. This, is the, this group is from uh, Ghent University. And so here you will see the different uh, nematodes that they, uh, uh, that they presented here affecting rice in different uh, rice ecosystems. So here, an important part is about the advances in research. So you will see here uh, the advances made uh, from based on those biology of rice diseases. You will see here the molecular biology of disease resistance by Dr. Uh, Yu and Guliang Huang. And then the epidemiology of rice diseases. This is also authored by, this is the one that I was talking about from Dr. Tang's team uh, and Dr. Savory. And then on virus resistance from uh, Dr. Hoson and uh, Dr. Choi. And then the biology of rice plastic fungus from Dr. Valen and then Dr. Leach and Dr. Bergier for the molecular genetics of bacterial uh, diseases, particularly BB and Ustring, and their impact on uh, future control strategies. And then the third part is about these selected management practices. So you will see here that uh, these are the uh, management practices applying epidemiological knowledge in disease management by Dr. Savory, improving seed health by Dr. Miao and Dr. Leticia Wilonghe, managing biological control agents, Dr. Miao and Dr. Chen, Chen Chen, uh, utilizing genetic diversity by Dr. Miao and uh, Dr. Halo here, and including even abiotic stresses in rice because it's very easily in the field, when we go to the fields, very easily we can mistake some of these abiotic stresses for rice diseases. That's why these are uh, presented here as well. Okay, so before we go to that, may I uh, just uh, shift gear here? here.